On today's Bully Beatdown Breakdown, we have a 6'4", 280-pound bully, but he's gonna be running into Andre Orlovsky. This guy is a former UFC heavyweight champion. He pounds a bad judgment because he disagrees. Look at the tits, though, right? We don't like to shame people. We don't, we don't shame people on this channel we're talking about, but tits. Hi, I'm Marty. I have a sister, and unfortunately, she's dating Nathan. I can't even have, like, a home that's my safe place that's because of Nathan. And I'm going to be scarred forever from that jerk. I'm sure he actually got that from, like, a biking accident or something, but it's a cool backstory. Nathan owes me money for my car, for my MP3 players. Ah, MP3, you just dated the show. show. The show is incredibly dated now. MP3, there's people who watch my channel that are 16 that are like, what is an MP3? What, what's the deal with this guy? Yeah, he's just, like, physically abused me, mentally abused me, wrecked my car. Yeah. What about you? He split the back of my head open. He broke my sliding glass door. I mean, he did this to me. He gave me a birthmark. I don't know how he even did it. He somehow gave me a birthmark. The fucking guy. He's a supernatural bully. How can he messes with you and your bracelets, your gloves? Like, uh, he's just really too narrow minded to understand. You do got a lot of bracelets on, though. Can we take a second and admire the amount of bracelets this guy has on? He was really making a fashion statement early on. He knew he was going to be on MTV. He said, I'm wearing the whole collection. Y'all already know I'm laying all chumps out, serving them with a quick one, too. Playing basketball and punking little weenies, that's what I do around here. All the weenies. Oh, it's not really too much fun fake. for me to play with. Anyone wants to see a little light shows every day, man? I'm his life coach. <laughs> they cut to him with the fucking gloves with the fucking LED fingertips. Whoa. All right, so the next section of this video, as you guys know, we're gonna build a little bit of this 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 energy, right, going into this fight. Now, let's hear what the bully actually has to say. Why do you hate Martin? Got some neon pink lights. He has a little green lights, likes to dance with him, do his little thing. I mean, the kid's a weenie, I'm telling you. He walked around all day playing with lights and beads, and he's 22, the kid's, the kid's a certified weenie. What about uh, a dash? The kid has ears for days, I'm telling right, you. there we go. I knew he was gonna target the ears. Low hanging fruit, right? That's real adolescent. I would, you know, who, who bullies someone about their ears? What are you, in elementary school? Come on, physical features, tits. Has anyone ever told you you look like the Kool-Aid man? Oh yes. Actually it's, oh yeah. Oh yes. Actually it's more like, oh yeah. Oh yes, oh yes. Never mind. I mean, he could have won with the bit and just said, oh yeah, come on, I would have done it. TV, man. Oh, yes. MMA superstar here to help you guys out with this problem. Andre! <laughs> See, Andre Olofsky backstory, he's still fighting, which is absolutely insane. He's been fighting for like 20 something years at this point. He will not go away and he's still winning at the highest level in the UFC as an older man in his 40s. He's one of the first MMA fighters to incorporate boxing. He would go to boxing gyms and really honed his stand-up skills in Chicago when he was living out there. And he was known for having really crisp punches. He still does, but he was really punch heavy back in the day. Now he moves a lot more, uses kicks, etc. Let's see how good your chin is, Bah! I wish I had that accent just for a little while so that I can try to intimidate people in, in public for no reason. Threw me against my sliding glass door and cracked the back of my head open. I mean, he, he moved He gave me a birthmark somehow. F***ing magician. I'll take care, don't worry. That's enough. I don't no longer want to hear your bitch complaining. Afterwards, you know what you really want to go into? Where'd it go? Jeremy Williams bouncing with him. Hilarious. Listen, man, I, I can see in your eyes right now, you're going to be the first bully to punk out on Bully Beatdown. I'm, I'm not kidding you right now. <laughs> you might as well just stay back here because once I stick you in the ring and all the cameras going, we're airing that episode. Yeah, make, not sure, kidding. make sure the EMTs are ready to go. Now. Make sure they're on their toes. Oh, he's ready. Needed. Listen, man, I'm going to fire up the cat scan. <laughs> Let's see how these guys stack up. Only thing stopping Russia from violating Lady Liberty is a pair of floppy man boobs and a giant beer gut. 285, man, outweighing Andre Olofsky by quite a few pounds, same height. Let's see how Andre does with this guy. He's a big, big young kid. And size and youth, no matter how skilled you are, can balance things out uh, to a certain extent. Let's see if he comes out confident. Let's see the look in his eyes as he makes the strike. Oh my God. Talking all that shit. He must have an injury though. He's coming in with a little bit of an elbow rapage going on there. 
All right, so obviously this is this is a fake bully, right? We can see that these three are definitely friends. Nate is pulling a good acting role right now, and uh, he's getting some SAG insurance for this, probably. Y'all some punks? Y'all still gonna be punks after this on my mama. Hey, he said on his mama, so I That's an insane diss, you know what I mean? That's an insane diss, you know? You guys are still gonna be punks on my mama. That's, that's his brain firing in strange ways because he's so fearful about what's about to happen. You know when you're really stressed out, you just start saying wild shit. On my mama? Come on, what are you saying? Your mama's about to watch you get beat down right now, dude. <laughs> if I was Mayhem, I wouldn't have laughed. I would have said, cut that from the edit. Three, Fear. I see it. I see it in the eyes. Andre, the Scared as fuck. No way around it, man. You gotta deal with Andre Olavsky, man. That ain't a good day. Huge. How can you be that confident staring into the eyes of a UFC heavyweight champion? Come on, five Gs, Andre, let's get this money. Okay. Oh, he enters in on a double himself. Arlovsky has a really good outside trip and he lands it. So Andre's been really good at outside trips for a long time in his career. He still uses it to this day. They locked up in the over-under clinch, one underhook, one overhook, and he got the trip. The glove, the glove. Pushes the face down, muffles the breathing. Looking to isolate an arm, passes sloppily to half guard. I don't know what Andre's doing there. Okay, he's going for a straight arm lock here where he kicks around the head and gets a straight arm lock. So essentially what he did is he stepped over the head and he got a straight arm lock where you hug elbow to elbow or palm to palm uh, around your training partner's elbow. It creates a hyperextension of the arm. It's actually a really old school move. Maybe not as common anymore. Uh, you can lose position on it, but really clean by Andre Olovsky. Andre coming up, tying hands, tying up hands. Reaching for the head. Andre's good from clinch. Double underhooks, trips, and gets the takedown. Right to half guard position on top. Oh, kicks over the head and looks to isolate for the triangle. Triangle strangle coming up. Beautiful. So essentially what he did is he, he immediately mounted. He kicked over one of the arms and was able to lock up the front triangle from the top or mote senkaku. Uh, it's a strangler, right? It's going to put you unconscious. And yeah, pretty fundamental and lots of options from there, right? If the guy tries to squirm out and extends his arms, he could possibly be arm barred on the trapped arm. And in this case, his left arm. So beautiful dilemma in that situation. Reaches for the head, front head lock by Andre Olavsky, looking for the strangle, and he gets it. Easy work, easy work. So basically all he did was snap the head down, went guillotine, and it was something that's good to do if you're in a cage or God forbid in the street. You could push the guy against a wall and you can use the wall as a wedge so the guy has nowhere to escape. And then you're driving all of your weight into the strangle and it just amplifies your leverage. Take him down, take him down, take him down. Double change by Andre Olavsky, not a bad idea. Goes back to the clinch with double underhooks. This kid obviously doesn't know how to combat the underhook position. Beautiful, turns him off the cage, right to a leg lock. He's looking to enter into Ashigarami. Four foot positioning, but he gets it. He gets a straight ankle lock. To be fair, not the best positioning. Uh, Andre being flat on his back with an inverted Ashi grip. Uh, not the most leverage, but the kid seems to just panic at the fact that the dude's grabbing his ankle, you know? We got one more, Andre. We got a minute for one more. Let's go, put the heat on him. Collar tie. Back to the clinch, I'm assuming, against the cage. He's gonna use the same takedown again. Yep. Oh, no, he goes single leg. Dumps him to the ground. A little bit of a weird takedown. Goes to side control. Pins uh, the bully's scapulas to the mat. Neon belly. Going for the same straight arm lock, I think, that he got in the first submission. No, he's switching off to a traditional Juju Gatami. And he gets the arm bar. So he initially went for the straight arm bar, as you guys saw, but he ended up mutating it into a far side arm bar, which was a really clean finish by Andre Olavsky. Being a big guy has its perks, but obviously in situations where you're forced to go into these anaerobic movements, it can really be taxing. Get off. Ooh, nice push kick to the body by Andre Olavsky. Steps back to clear the, the switch. Low kick, body kick, right hand. Okay, setting up his punches nice now. Ooh, goes right. Ooh, that right hand snuck in over the left hand. Ooh, right hand to the body, comes up with the uppercut. Push kick to the body, right hand to the head, he crumbles. So a beautiful display of using your entire body. He's using push kicks to the body, he's coming up the middle with uppercuts, and he's trying to time the right hand as he uh, as, as he notices the bully drop his hands from the body kicks. Come on, get up, man, get up, get up, man. Come on. 
That was easy work by Andre Arlovsky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for beating down Nathan. My life is going to be so much better. Is it really? If this was real, hypothetical, right? You think that that wouldn't just make this bully want to beat your ass even worse because now he's been embarrassed on national television. All right, well, look, now that you're on the other side of the coin, I mean, you got anything What do you have to, to say to the bully victim? That's what I want to know. I guess it doesn't pay off to be a bully, man. I'm sorry, y'all. Sorry, man. That was all it took. Oh, I swear to God, he kicked a hole through my chest. Bah! I feel that all over my back, dude, all the way down my back. That's some bull. Ugh, it's not worth it. <laughs> is it worth the money? If you're gonna be a bully and you're gonna challenge a UFC heavyweight champion, he might kick you so hard in your chest that your back hurts.